Welcome to the Solid Game University channel. This video's topic is Solid Verify Part Analysis. So Solid Verify is one of the modes of simulation available from SolidCAM, and it actually has a much more powerful function to it um, called the analysis function. And we're going to go through that real quick in this video. So um, first off, I want to show you uh, one of the functions inside the tool table that actually comes into play in Solid Verify, and that is the tool color. So uh, this is much more of an aesthetic thing at this point, really just which tool is which color. Um, and then you'll see how that actually applies to the analysis later on in this video. So to start, we'll just go with tool one. And tool one, I've chosen it to be a dark blue color. And I just click on color to indicate which one I want. Tool three, same thing. If I click on color, I've assigned it to be that yellow color, but I can change it to whatever color I want from this, this section right here. Let's exit out of there and actually go into a solid verify. So I'm actually gonna simulate the first three tool paths. We'll go to simulate, solid verify. And those same colors I assigned to each tool can be found under color by tool. If I click on that, we'll see that tool one is gonna be the dark blue, tool three will be that yellow color. And the reason that comes into play here is because we start with this stock representation, the stock being the one that you defined when you first opened up the part. And if I play through each tool path, We'll see the first one is tool one. I've assigned it with a dark blue color, so all the surfaces machined by tool one will have a dark blue color. The next operation is using tool three. If I run through this, we'll see that the faces affected by tool three, in this case that center island there, are now yellow, indicating that tool three was the one that machined that face. So this is kind of step one in the part analysis to see which tool did what. Okay, and the third operation is essentially just tool three all over again. I'm just machining more into that, that plane there. Now, what you didn't see is that I've actually gouged the part. So this is actually the second level of the part analysis. If I go up here to this icon, this multicolored icon, it'll compare the target, which is the solid you defined when you first open up the part, indicating the, what the final piece should look like, to this machine stock. We get this little window up here where it'll actually compare the two solids and we have a color-coded interval here. So any faces that are already at zero, meaning that I finished those faces, will be the green color. Anything in between zero and four thou will be the yellow color. So if there is a uh, four thou or less material on that face, it'll be the yellow color. Anything between four thou and 10 thou will be this, this purple color. Anything more than 10 thou, so a face that has more than 10 thou of material on it, will be that dark blue color. Likewise, on the opposite side of the spectrum, anything between zero and a gouge of four thou will be the green color. Anything between four and 10 thou of a gouge will be the orange color. And anything gouged more than the 10 thou will be the red color. And all those are under my control as well. All I gotta do is click on that icon and I can choose which color to represent that interval. And these intervals are under my control as well. I can put in whatever number I want here. Um, typically, I make this value right here the first stage in each interval, close to the same as my facet tolerance. The facet tolerance is essentially just the mathematical model that makes up this STL file. So in this case, I have it set to 4,000. So all this STL file is actually made up of little triangle model, models that are only 4,000 in size. So that's the facet. And then in my analysis, I make the smallest facet that I'm analyzing to be that same value. This button up here is just limiting the the the, uh, the analysis. So I'm doing the full spectrum here, but if I just wanted to see gouges, I could just move to this button right here. It fades those out. So I'm only going to look for gouges if I click that button. But for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna do all the analysis there. So once I've set this up, or if I, I've set this up before and it preloaded these values, I can do my analysis. So I'll click execute. And now we can see the part in terms of this analysis here. So, like I said, anything in excess of 10 thou is gonna be the dark blue. So that's why I haven't even done any of these faces yet. So there's 10 thou material. I haven't drilled out those holes on the side there. So again, more than 10 thou material. But you can see here the red. That indicates that there is a gouge of more than 10 thou. If we exit out of here, exit out of the simulation, we'll see that this operation, the third one, actually gouged because it was an eye machining that went too deep and it totally uh, removed that inside pocket. So this solid verify 
analysis is essentially a way to troubleshoot the, the, uh, the toolpath before we even put it on the machine to check for gouges. So this is before the toolpath. Once I run that toolpath and do the analysis once again, I can check for my gouge. So again, this is a function available from SolidWorks, or sorry, uh, from the Solid Verify simulation module. And it's a good way to check for any kind of gouges. And you can actually do that in between the operation as well. So let's see if I play through this again, very slowly, and I press pause, I can do the analysis in between the operation as well. So I can see at what point it actually does the gouge. Now in my case, it's gonna to totally wipe that whole thing out. But if there was a function that you were doing, let's say a 3D toolpath, and only a portion of it is actually gouging, you can pause it any time in between the toolpath to check where that gouge is occurring. Any questions on this or anything else from SolidCam, you can always call us at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. You can send us your parts and your questions via the ticket system at solidcamsupport.com, or stay tuned for the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.